Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and this is a, a bit of a surprise, I gotta tell you. Ruby got sold. Ruby just got sold to Viz Media. So it's interesting, Rooster Teeth effectively shut down and they started selling off any assets that had any value whatsoever. And apparently Ruby was one of the only things they had left that had any value and they've sold them to Viz. Now, I don't know, we're gonna read this article, we're gonna listen to the announcement, uh, react to that. I don't know if this means they're gonna continue Ruby and they're gonna do like a volume 10 wherever they're at with it or they're gonna reboot it or, or what they're gonna do with it. But it's out of Warner Brothers' hands, I guess, at this point, and it's with uh, Viz Media, and they'll probably do a whole bunch of stuff with it. I mean, you know, Viz, I, I can't really complain about them. They've actually been very, very good uh, with handling the properties that they have. Um, so I guess this is good news for Ruby fans, unless, of course, they just reboot it and make it more Japanese, outsource it to Japan. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do, because um, I don't know. Is, it, is the animation studio, is it still intact? uh in texas i have i have no idea but this is after rooster teeth sold off their podcasts and uh, warner brothers finally put them out of their misery uh so let's let's talk about this before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys i have to give a uh, hat tip to uh double double d who sent this over to me earlier today i actually missed it i wasn't paying much attention i guess the uh, ma expo is that going on this weekend, I believe it is. Uh, yes, yeah, so this come from IGN. Ruby finds a new home in wake of Rooster Teeth's closure. Has a new home. Showrunner Carrie Shawcross and uh, is it Yang Zhao Long, voice actress Barbara Dunkelman, gave fans the news. They've been waiting to hear since the company was shuttered in March. The duo says a new deal with Viz Media will allow the anime-inspired series to live on under the company's umbrella which includes other anime hits like Bleach, Death Note, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and more. The former Rooster Teeth crew says they're excited to work with Viz on the future of the beloved series. So they're keeping some of the people. And talking with Viz, they're also very excited about this. They obviously care about where the show is now, but they also care about where it came from, and they want to make sure we can continue the story. So there we go. Uh, Dunkelman adds that the Ruby team is currently in talks with Viz about how the show will transition in the future, adding they are very hopeful for what's to come. In its own post, Viz notes that the relationship with Ruby doesn't start with a uh, new deal. It previously handled a series of manga based on the show and also released the World of Ruby compendium book. We're grateful to the Rooster Teeth team for entrusting us with Ruby, and we're excited to carry forward the legacy of the series. So Viz is going to oversee production, uh, distribution, licensing, consumer products, and more for the Ruby franchise and the FAQ section. The company outlines how the series will live on under its new roof. For starters, social media pages on X and Facebook will remain active while it explores the possibility of new chapters in its story. Explores the possibility. Shawcross will be involved in what comes next for Ruby. And as for Ruby Volumes 1 through 9, Viz says to stay tuned for updates on where it will be available to watch. It might be that they have to work something out with Warner Brothers. Uh, the brakes were pumped on Volume 10 when Rooster, uh, Rooster Teeth parent company, Warner Brothers Discovery, announced it's going to shut down Rooster Teeth in March. Uh, in addition to Ruby, Rooster Teeth were responsible for Red vs. Blue and Genlock. I don't know. Could you sell Red vs. Blue? Because it's derivative of Halo. Does it, doesn't, uh, does Microsoft own that? I don't know. I don't know who owns what now. Genlock was kind of dead on arrival. Rooster Teeth's demise brought an end to a pioneering entity in the gaming content creation space, but Ruby at least will live on uh, in some form. I mean, we don't know for 100%, right? So let's, uh, let's see what the quotes are. Oh my God, uh, the entire anime fandom right now. <laughs> uh, some things change, some things stay the same. Uh, on the 11th anniversary, this is what we waited for. Ruby has a new home. Um, want to see some GD optimism. Thanks for making my day better. Now, now Viz gets to deal with, uh, some of the worst of the, the Ruby stands. We've dealt with them. I'm not saying everybody I'm saying we've dealt with some pretty awful people, uh, who claim to be Ruby stands, uh, especially when we we're covering the allegations at Rooster Teeth. And at the time they were just allegations, but, uh, when it came out that the achievement hunter guys were doing what they were doing, they were like, Oh my God, you're the worst people ever. How dare you? 
Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Day 99, stop. Day 100, the news arrived. Ruby's back. Uh, they said they're exploring, exploring ways to to bring it back. I would, I would laugh, though, if they rebooted the whole thing. I would. I'd be like, yeah, they're starting over. Starting over from one. Uh, I don't think that's going to, I don't think it's going to happen, but it might not go down the way that you think it's going to go down. Um, so we'll see, but, uh, there we go. Let's, let's, uh, look at the initial post. So let's, uh, react to the announcement by Kerry Shawcross, who I think was, wasn't he in that video where they're like, Hey, you have to subscribe to first. And this is after they pulled all their content off of YouTube. He was like, yeah, if you want to keep us around. And it was very, very awkward. And, uh, then they shut Rooster Teeth down a couple months after that. So let's see. He's excited. He thinks that, you know, they're going to do more. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'm Barbara Dunkelman. And we have some exciting news for you today. I know a lot of you have been wondering what's going to happen with Ruby, and we finally have an answer. Ruby has found a new home with Viz Media. Woo! Yay! I'm very excited. Me too. Obviously, and I know you guys will all be very excited. What this means is Viz Media will be the home to the Ruby franchise. So that includes production, distribution, licensing, consumer products and more. As you can tell, we're very excited about this. This is a huge opportunity to grow our audience and expand into the future. In talking with Viz, they're also very excited about it. We're all excited. We're very excited. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, they, they could. They could absolutely continue it with a, a chapter 10. I personally don't care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I don't care one way or the other. I was watching the Rooster Teeth situation from a business perspective, and I'm like, I do not understand how the hell this company is still in business. Kind of like IDW. Like I actually did work for IDW, but I don't understand how they're still in business. And as it turned out, they they got gone. I mean, I don't have anything personal against anybody at Rooster Teeth. I'm just like, how the hell are you still in business? I mean, it's it's, it's crazy. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yes. Um, they obviously care about where the show is now, but they also care about where it came from and they want to make sure that we can continue this story. We are currently in talks with them about Ruby's future, and we are very hopeful for what's to come for this beloved series. So excited to work with Viz Media and to see what's next for Ruby. For more information on this and all things Ruby going forward, you can go to Viz's official blog post. It's very um, non, non-descript, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, yes, we, we have Ruby now, and we will, we will do something with Ruby. We just don't know what we're gonna do. But there we go, guys. Uh, Ruby is snatched from the fire of Warner Brothers Discovery, or the fire sale, rather, of Warner Brothers Discovery. What are your thoughts? Do you like Ruby? Do you watch Ruby? Do you consider Ruby anime? I know that's a whole big issue. Uh, will Viz's fans consider Ruby to be anime? We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later.